Hey guys, me again. I'm here with the second deck profile for tonight. Um, it's going to be, of course, I already kind of told you in the other one, Six Samurais. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Uh, I've been waiting to post this up. Um, it hasn't really changed a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, I'll just get right down to it and I'll explain my choices. So, two Kageki. I've seen a lot of people only running uh, one. I think you still got to run two. I wouldn't have run three. Three was more of when, before Dojo came out and uh, Asceticism actually was realized that it was amazing. Um, but Kageki 2 is perfect. Uh, awesome card. Just helps out with those synchro plays, makes Shien easier to make. Three Kage Musha, your tuner of the deck. It's got staple at three. Amazing card, 1800 defense. Lets you onto Naturia Beast, Barkeon, Landois, Shien, Mistworm. All your good synchro, so three is staple. Next is two out of the six samurai. I have another super coming. I'm just waiting for it from uh, Team Delta Force. Um, amazing card. It's a target with asceticism uh, or for yeah with asceticism uh, with Kagemusha. So you just go uh, special this guy asceticism get Kagemusha go Nature Beast or uh, Shien. So it's very very good. Uh, next is the next staple at three in my opinion, and that's uh, three Shein, or sorry, three Shein, I wish, three Kizon. Um, basically, to special summon him, if there's two or more Samurais in the field other than him, uh, he gains uh, 300 attack and defense, so he goes up to 2100, which is the same as Grandmaster. Very good card, um, have to run three. Next is one Grandmaster, I usually run two, but I've kind of realized lately that one is all you need, two is a dead draw. And a lot of times you're going to have that second one in your hand. You're going to be like, oh, why am I running this? I should be running something else. So I'm actually running one right now, and I'm really enjoying it. I actually ended up uh, taking it out for Zanji, uh, which is a great card. Gets around Stallers, Spirit Reaper, and whatnot, which is one card that a lot of people are going to side deck against you. Uh, it's also another target for um, Asceticism on Kizan, uh, much like Grandmaster is if he's at 21. And you can always XYZ with this guy with the keys on, or you can just use it punch over bigger monsters. So, very good card. Uh, next is MVP of the deck in Nishi. This card's amazing. Uh, you can asceticism this guy with Kageki when he's at 17 under attack. Uh, when there's two other samurais in the field, this guy goes up to 22. Very good card. Um, remove from play two samurais from your graveyard during either player's turn. You can bounce one face up monster your opponent control. Is one your opponent controls or just one? No. Yeah, one face up monster in the field. So you can uh, save your own monsters, whatever. It's very, very good. Um, next is Hand the Stick Samurai. I still like Hand. I think she's staple. I've been thinking about taking her out to run uh, another dojo or something, but I still think she's too good not to run. Um, her and the next card are really the only ones in the deck that don't have asceticism targets, but that's okay. She's just hand's hand. Uh, and last is Spirit. I love this guy. Um, equip them to Shein or Grandmaster or whatever. Make them big. Run over Stardust, whatever. A big threat. And draw cards. More pluses. So that's the monsters, guys. 15. That's all you need. Next, we got the spells. So, MVP of the deck. Asceticism of the Six Samurai. This card's amazing. Um what I've been kind of talking about already. You basically just target a face up six samurai uh, and then you special summon one from your deck with equal attack as the one that you targeted. So very, very good card. Uh, just toolboxes the deck a little bit more. Uh, next is your draw power. You got three six samurai united. Uh, this card's still a great, great card. Awesome with uh, gateway. Just lets you use counters. And if you know how to play this deck properly, you can just swarm, swarm, swarm with this and a gateway on the field. Um, Next is two dojo. I do like three. I've tried three. It's good. It's just I think two is the kind of the magic number. I like one, two, three for the ratio. So that's really all you need. Uh, basically, when you special summon a normal summon a samurai, you get to add counters to it for each time, and then you can send it to the graveyard to special summon a samurai with that uh, with the counters equal to its level. So it's really really good. More kind of toolbox special summoning. Uh, one gateway, of course, one of the most busted cards in the game. I hope it never goes away. <laughs> I don't think it actually ever will. Um, two she and smoke signal no that's not warrior returning alive that's supposed to be a smoke signal uh, that's my proxy the one I was talking about um, it's going to be replaced by the real smoke signal when I get it hopefully tomorrow or the day after from team delta force to waiting on his, his stuff in the mail and I'm like harassing him with all these videos but it's to uh, get the point across um, but yeah guys uh, two smoke signal it's amazing that that went up to two I was actually shocked because the deck already had a lot of consistency 
Uh, and then, of course, the one reinforcement of the army, another smoke signal basically searches out all your level 4 lower warriors. So pretty much everything in the deck except for uh, Grandmaster. Uh, one Heavy Storm, I don't run MSTs in here. I really don't think they're necessary. Um, you just don't need it. Uh, this is really all you need is just the Heavy. Um, one Book of Moon. I wouldn't mind putting two MSTs in. I think it would be good to let you go off more, but it's just one of those cards that doesn't combo, and if you go first, it's kind of like, eh, it's not really necessary. Um, I'm sure I could find room for two somewhere, but it would be really difficult. I'd have to probably take out the dojos or the asceticisms, which I just can't see myself doing. One reborn staple and dark hole. This can be dead in the deck sometimes, but it's really good. Nice thing is you can always pitch it away with land ice. Uh, plus dark hole just gets rid of those big threats. Well, good, good card. Uh, next is two double-edged sword technique. It's so sexy as an ultra. Love it. Um, I like three, but now that she or uh, Trishula has gone, I think two is really all you need. Just good. Gets you more special summoning, more monsters, more damage. Uh, two Musikani. I've seen a lot of samurai players not running these. I don't know what you're thinking because this card's amazing still. And good versus Zectors. Really good versus uh, one for one with the Rabbit deck. And it's also really good versus, of course, Solemn the Solemn Brigade. So awesome card. Speaking of Solemn Brigade, we got two Wardens and a Judgment. That's staple. And normally I'm running a compulsory, but I've been testing this out actually. This card's really good in the deck, safe zone. This is a very underrated card in the format. Um, basically you just target or equip this kind of in a sense, so one of your face-up monsters. Usually you want to equip it to Shien or Naturia Beast, and you kind of make a lock where they can't get rid of it. And uh, it can't be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Um, and I think... Yeah, I cannot attack your opponent directly, but who cares? If you're going to have a Nature A Beast this in the field, you just have complete lockdown. They're going to try to MST it. You, they can't. Um, they're going to have to get a monster effect to destroy this thing. So, pretty amazing card. And one Mirror Force, of course, because you kind of need it. Anyways, guys, that's the deck. It's 40 cards. Extra deck's kind of just what you would normally expect. Um, the only cool uh, monsters I'm really running in the deck that I think are kind of staple um, Blade Armor Ninja is amazing. Uh, just two Kizons goes under this guy, or Kizon and a Zanji, or Kizon and a Nishi. And uh, you can remove the XYZ to target himself, and then you can double attack for 20 uh, or 4400. So it's really, really good. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the deck. Uh, hopefully, you like it. Um, it's pretty much the exact same as it was last format. Just had to take out a couple traps for uh, some more room. Um, and then because Trishula, of course, got banned, I had to kind of take out a double edge just because I usually normally ran three. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's the deck profile. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to check out my other videos. And uh, Underworld 667 is a douchebag. Peace.